Greetings, everyone. Greetings, lovers of freedom. This is MAPS Yokubundu One. The video you are seeing on the screen here, I want you to pay attention. Do not have banned their people to stop bringing food and most of, mostly their cows to the east, Igbo to be precisely. In this, they stand that their own citizen are law abiding citizen that their 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 youth obeys the law he said that his people or their cows are being killed but this man as he was addressing everything that is happening to his people the terrorists that are being killed in the east he never mentioned the how their people entered hamufu and they slaughtered thousands of nibu in hamufu he never mentioned how his uh, terrorists a uh, full enhanced man entered uh, in Lokbata and slaughtered a lot of people in Lokbata. He never mentioned it. He never mentioned how his people are, are destroying our farmland. Now, what point am I trying to make here? These are not only leaders representing them. They always come on air, come out publicly to defend their people and take actions. Why our own leaders will always keep quiet and watch our own people die? Now, they have said that they have bound the cow meat and the other things coming to the evils. I think this is a, a welcome development. And it's a, we, we welcome it because we don't even need their cow. I want you to pay this uh, to watch this video and tell me what is Ohaneze doing. These people, Ohaneze need to tell them to go to hell with their own food because we cannot keep on tolerating these people. We are not one. These people had, he, he said a lot of rubbish here. Let me not say too much about it. I want you to pay attention. He said that the uh, IPOB is proscribed, but he failed to, to tell the world that the Fulani bandits are also proscribed. And the Fulani bandits are the fourth most dangerous terrorists in the world. And he failed, and he said this and that. Our people need to be careful because, like he said, that he will not, they will not attack the Igbos in the north. That means they will be sending their machinery to the east. They want to bring the war to our own doorstep, and we must resist that. Our people in the north, if you like, stay there. If you like, come back home, because these people, they have evil plan for you people. And when they will start ex uh, executing their plan, I pity you that is in the north, because you will become the, the, the scapegoat. They will slaughter you. Watch the videos in detail. As, uh, as they make the, their noise and the threatening deal on what to do. Thank you and remain blessed. Stay tuned for more videos. One voice in the interests uh, of North and Northerners. Today we are addressing you uh, based on the circumstances uh, leading to what we are going to announce shortly. You are aware that throughout uh, this year, there has been continued killing and destructions of properties of northerners that are either resident in the southeastern part of Nigeria or are on transit for business purposes, purposes moving from the north to the east or from the east to the north. You are aware that the outlawed members of the IPOB and ESM have continually been killing and destroying uh, properties of northerners. Not only that, even security agencies who are trained uh, and have the license to protect lives and properties of Nigerians are not spared by these outlawed organizations of uh, IPOB and the ESN. This has called from gen also from uh, December 1st till today, uh, December 13th, the, uh, 14th rather, these con uh, killings also continue uh, nonstop. For deceased from transporting anything good and services from the north to the east. This is not intended to punish the easterners, the entire easterners, or to cause uh, delay or losses even to the northerners themselves. But this is for the purpose of sending uh, a message of our displeasure to the eastern part of Nigeria, most especially the, the governors, the traditional rulers, the stakeholders, that enough of this killing is enough. We are law-abiding as northerners. We believe in the law. We respect the law. We abide by the law. So we, 
will not, uh, we will not on our own start destroying or killing Easterners resident, resident in the north. We will also not allow any of our own people carry such actions because it's against the law. And we also know that those that are doing the killing in the east are not the same Easterners that are resident in the north. So Easterners residents, resident in the north can continue to reside and continue to do their lawful businesses. They are free, they are protected, Northerners are friendly. But for the east, Northerners that are in the east also, we are saying be careful and cooperate. Every truck driver, every taxi driver, every J5 driver, every Sharon, and anybody that is moving from passenger to transportation of goods and services from the north to the east, we are saying from tomorrow, 15th, Please desist from doing that so that we can send a signal to these people, in our brothers in the East, that we are not happy with what they are doing and we cannot continue to tolerate the, tolerate the continuous killing and destruction of properties of Northerners, either resident in the East or are doing uh, transacting between North and East in the name of our business. And we are also calling our, on our youth to please calm down that there is no need for any action. This that we are doing is enough to send a message to these people and we believe that their leaders will listen and they will also act on this. While we are commending our security agencies for the best that they have been doing, we will continue to pray for them and for God's guidance and protection. For those that have lost their lives, we are praying that God receive their souls in good uh, in good faith, and those that lost their properties, we also pray and hope that God will provide for them so that they will get back what they have lost. For strike, starting from 12 o'clock, a minute after 12 o'clock tomorrow, that is on Thursday, on the 15th, December 2022. Uh, our reasons of going to this track is because of the people that they are in the eastern part of Nigeria, iPod and Eastern, they are destroying our trucks, killing our drivers whenever they carry goods to them. That is why we are calling this track uh, as of, from, uh, let's say, this uh, December, they kill more than uh, 100 people. I will give you an example. There's an airport truck. He carry people coming to north. They stop the vehicle and kill about 42 people, which will have the evidence and the facts that anybody who wants it, he should contact the Northern Consensus Movement. He will see the facts. The same thing in Lobanta. The same thing in Aba. They kill the driver. The man is from Nasarawa State. Three of them. They have taken the dead body to Nasarawa State for burial, where by people they are so worried. They even wanted to bring this peace between any Igbo and uh, Nasarawa State people. Thank God we are low uh, abiding citizens of Nigeria. Our youths, our children, anything that our leaders, our, our elders. Now, I want you to pay attention at this place. Because this is the place uh, Hanes, the Igbo leader, is supposed to rise up. The, the trailers that was accosted by ESN was loaded with ammunition and the Fulani terrorists, and they used cement to cover them. Now, this man is here making an openly confession that Indi Igbo need to stand on it to establish their case against the North. Because it is now open that they are the one transporting and sending their missionaries in the east. We, we saw what happened in Hamufu a few days or a few weeks back before the arrival of ESN, where they sacked entire eight communities. And they, when ESN arrived, they sent more back up, which everybody see it. He is now telling you that that is goods and services. Let them, this is a clear evidence that these people are. They, they don't want they, they want to be fighting the war in the east. So when you hear them say goods and services, what is the goods? Your machineries to come and kill Igbos, and the, our leaders will not rise up to challenge these people. That is why they always think they have upper hand. Continue watching. Situation there. So due to that, we are not going to agree. 
to allow this thing to continue happening to our northerners. His, his name is Alleji Bello Katie, National Chairman, Cattle Dealers Association of Nigeria. President, Cattle Dealers Association of Nigeria. He is calling on all his members to embark to join uh, NCM. He is giving directives as he is, he is uh, jo he has already joined the the movement. So let the let all his members join embark on this strike. To kubar jeje nanda kuke ji na mutane muna fuka wanda basu the kitchen mutane arewa su kitchen su ko alje hunsu a chichi mutum su zo su karbi abun da zasu karba su tafi don haka mu hada kai mu goyi bayan bawan Allah nan mu tafi su ta abinan yajin aiki in Allah da sai gwamnati ta ba mu information tabbaci kare mu da kare dukiyar mu you should avoid on all that hearsay from other from other parts these people who they are who they are not supporting this strike they are not doing it for the for the they are not doing it for the people for the people of for the northerners rather they are doing it on what to get so they are after what to get because the constitution said that under chapter 4 sub sections 40 40 that any organizations that they are they are right has been breached so our members has been killed in the eastern part of this country their property has been destroyed so we want to call the attentions of the government part of their, their responsibility to make sure to protect our members we uh, we we are already uh, all the time that we are meeting with the press express our anger express our uh, our own problem about what was going there. Uh, lastly, let me tell them, IPOB have banned cow, open grazing in Biafra land. So they must know that one. Thank you. This is the beginning. God bless DOS. God bless Martin and Camp. God bless ESN.